Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video lecture, I would like to discuss about the Cubist coding questions that were asked recently that was held on August 12, 2022. If you observe the input format, the input format is very easy. The user needs to enter a single line which indicates the password of that particular user. And what is the output expected? The expected output is a boolean value that is either true or false. How we can print true or false? Here we are having some conditions. If all of these conditions are satisfied, we need to return true else we need to return false. Let's check the conditions. The first condition is the length of the string is at least 8 characters. That means the length of the string is uh, equal to 8 or greater than 8. And the second condition is it should start with a capital letter. Uh, for example, your name is Hemant. The first letter that is H is in capital case. And the third condition is it should have at least one numeric value. Uh, that means in your password, the numeric value need to be included. For example, hey month at the grade 1, 2, 3. Here, 1, 2, 3 is the numeric values, right? So, that that's another condition. And the fourth condition is it should have at least one special character from the list. Here, we are having four special characters. In our password, we need to have at least one of these four characters. These are the four conditions we need to check. If all of these conditions are satisfied, we need to return true, else we need to return false. Let's have a look on sample test cases. This will give us a better understanding to implement the program. Before that, if anyone is preparing for interviews, please uh, share your resumes to busreddihemant at the grid of gmail.com. I will conduct a mock interviews to you that will help you. The first sample test case is qbest at the grade 1, 2, 3. So if you observe the password, the first character is q and it's in capital case and the length of the string is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's more than 8, right? And the second condition is also satisfied and it's, it is having numeric values. 1, 2, 3 is numeric. So the third condition is also satisfied. And the fourth condition is it should have at least one special character from the four, from the above four. That, that is either at the grade or dollar or percentile or ampersand. So here we are having at the grade. So that's why the password is valid and it will return true. And the second sample test case is cubus at the grade one two. Here the length of the string is less than seven. That's why it returns false even though it satisfies all the conditions. That is it is having one special character and numeric value as well as the first character is capital even though it satisfied all the condition it will return false because it, the length of the string is less than seven sorry less than eight and the sample test case three is here if you observe the password the password length is more than eight the condition is satisfied and the first character is also starts with capital letter and the numeric values is also present and one special character that is question mark is also present but the characters that are present in this list is not present in our password that's why it returns false i hope all of you understand these sample test cases well if you understand the sample test cases then implementation is very very easy i'm just opening new tab the first statement is we need to import the all necessary libraries to run the program for that i'm importing import java dot util dot star all the libraries that are available in util package will be imported into our program like scanner class etc after that i am creating a class called cubist sorry b u r s t 1 then after that the next statement is public static void main public static void main of it will take strings as an arguments string arcs after that i need to take string input from the user that is password in java if you want to take any input we need to create object to the scanner class because in scanner class we are having different functions uh, to get different functions to get input from the user 
लाइक एस सी डॉट नेक्स्ट इन नेक्स्ट इंट इज ए फंक्शन विच इज यूज टू टेक इंटीजर इनपुट एस सी डॉट नेक्स्ट विच इज यूज टू टेक बॉन वर्ड इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर एस सी डॉट नेक्स्ट लाइन विच इज यूज टू टेक ए लाइन ऑफ इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर एक्सेट्रा फॉर दैट आई एम क्रिएटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट टू द स्कैनर क्लास स्कैनर एस सी इक्वल टू न्यू स्कैनर ऑफ सिस्टम डॉट इन सिस्टम डॉट इन After creating object to the scanner class, by using that object, I am calling sc dot next method, which is used to take string input from the user. String str equal to sc dot next. After taking input from the user, I need to check whether the length of the string is greater than or equal to eight or not, and the first character is capital case letter or not. For that, I am using if condition if str dot length length function returns the number of characters in the string greater than or equal to eight. If the length of the string is greater than or equal to eight, means the first condition is satisfied, and the second condition also need to be checked in this if condition only. That second condition is str dot caret of zero. The caret of zero will returns the first character from the string. Caret of zero should lies between capital A to capital Z. So greater than or equal to sixty-five and str dot caret of zero should be less than or equal to ninety. If the character is lies between sixty-five and ninety, then the character is capital case letter if these two conditions is satisfied again we need to check two more conditions that the string contains the numeric values or not and the one more condition is the string contains the special characters that is mentioned from the uh, above or not if these four conditions are satisfied then only we print true else we need to print false so after uh, satisfying these conditions i need to iterate each and every character from the string for that i am using one for loop for int i equal to 1 i less than str dot length l e n z t h i plus plus after that i am storing that value what we are getting from the string in a character ch char ch is equal to str dot caret of i here why i am using the starting character is 1 because in the first line itself that means in the first if condition itself we check the first character is capital case or not that means uh, that is alphabet only right no need to check whether the first character is uh, numeric or not that's why i just uh, started the i value with 1 after that i need to check if ch lies between 48 to 57 48 ch greater than or equal to 48 and ch less than or equal to 57 if the character is lies between these two numbers then the encountered character is a numeric character then i'm just simply making numeric equal to true before that i didn't declare any numeric value that's why i'm just declaring boolean boolean numeric equal to false by default the numeric value is pre not present i'm taking by default the numeric value is not present if after checking if the numeric value is present then i'm making it as true then one more condition is special character for that also i'm making one variable special equal to false by default the special is also false after that i need to check for special character for that i am using if ch double equal to at the grade if the character is at the grade symbol or ch double equal to one more special character is ampersand if the character is ampersand or ch double equal to percentile or ch double equal to 
dollar any of these characters is present in our string then we need to conclude that the special characters is also present for that i am making special equal to true completion of this for loop and coming out of the if condition i'm just checking if special and one more variable is numeric numeric if both conditions are true then i just simply print true system dot out dot print of true else i just else i need to print false else system dot out dot print of false just save the program i'm saving the file as cubist1 cubist1 dot java then open command prompt in order to execute the program cmd then maximize it after that i am changing the directory and the directory is cd512 because the file is available in 512 folder after changing the directory i am just compiling the program java c file name is cubist dot java it's just compiling the program here we are having some errors variable str of type string sorry str dot length uh, need to be how parenthesis just save the program run it once it is executing the program here it shows that there is no errors in our program then clean in the screen then run the program if you want to run the program we need to give java followed by file name file name is cubist1 and it is asking for input i am giving cubist cubist at the grade 1 2 3 and the expected output is true see here we are getting true as output and i am just running one more time and uh, i am giving cubist at the grade 1 and we are expecting sorry i am just removing a t here now the length of the string is 7 we are expecting false so the expected output and executed output is same let's run one more test case so i'm giving cubist 1 1 and star the star is special character and the length of the string is also more than 8 and the numeric value is also present even though it will returns false because the special character that are listed in the above is not present in our string let's check whether it exec it is executing true or false see here it is executing false i hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any queries please comment it below i will try to clarify your doubts thank you all if you like the video then like else dislike the video that will helps me a lot to improve my teaching skills thank you